This is Mike Finnerty of the Sure West Sports Show, and the following clip has been brought to you by the Sure West Sports Show, airing on SureWestSports.com. We're going to wrap up this week's highlights with one more Optimus All-Star game. This coming in baseball, and it was the 40th edition of this longtime game. And of course, it featured the North against the South doing battle at American River College. For the North squad, you had Nick Blazer and Anthony Roberts of the Division II champion Roseville Tigers. And for the South, they were led by the section's best player in Elk Grove's J.D. Davis. For all these seniors, this would be the last time they would put on their respective high school uniforms. Let's get right to the action now, and after a scoreless first inning, we go to the top half of the second when Nick Blazer hits his ball to short. A play couldn't be made on the ball, so Blazer is safe at first. But the hit scores Yuba City's Tyler Olson, and we've got a 1-0 North lead. However, the South would answer right back in the bottom of the inning with a hit by Austin Ailes of Oak Ridge. The hit gets through third baseman Anthony Roberts and in the left, scoring a pair of runs to put the South up 2-1. In the third, the North ties up the game at 2 all when Granite Bay's Andrew Wilson gets the base knock to score Rockland's Austin Deemer. And this is pretty much how the game would go. Lots of scoring. In the fourth, the South got things going with this launch by J.D. Davis. It would result in a ground rule double. And then a few batters later, it's Ailes again, this time with the big hit. That would result in a double. And the South grabs the lead back now, this time at 3-2. In the bottom of the fifth, with the North now up 4-3, J.D. Davis gets his third hit in as many at-bats when he singles home Cole Hansen of Oak Ridge. This ties it at 4-4. More south as they go up 6-4 in the 6th, thanks to a Ford hit inning that saw Tyler Evanoff and Dylan Malone both score to keep the ball rolling. Yes, we did see some nice pitching in a few innings, particularly in the 7th when Ailes shut down the north in a rare 1-2-3 inning that ended on this strikeout. Sure, we saw some nice offense through 7 innings of play, but the bats really exploded for both teams in the 8th inning. And it began with the North as Nick Blazer here makes it a 4 for 4 night with this RBI single that ties the game at 6-6. With the North now up 7-6, Nate Esposito of Granite Bay comes through with this base hit to left. That made it 9-6 and now it's looking like the North came to win but the South would have the final say. In the bottom of the 8th inning, the South would get a 6 hit, 7 run inning that seemed like it would never end. Davis got his fourth hit of the game in this inning, as did Ailes, and by the time this inning was over, the South would have a 13-9 lead. J.D. Davis was back on the hill for the second straight inning. He looked to close this game out, and he got the inning started right with back-to-back -back strikeouts, putting the South just an out away from ending this game. But Blazer gets one last shot at his longtime pal in Davis, and he sends his pitch to deep center field. That would result in a double, Blazer's fifth hit of the night. But Davis came right back and got the final out on this grounder to short as this game ends with the South getting the 13-9 win. MVP award winners included the Norse Nick Blazer who went 5 for 5 with a pair of doubles and two RBIs. And for the South it was Austin Ailes of Oak Ridge who got the nod thanks to his four hits in his one shutout inning on the mound. After it was all said and done I caught up with the game's two MVPs. Austin Ailes of Oak Ridge and Nick Blazer of Roseville. All right, Nick Blazer, Austin Ailes, uh, MVPs. Uh, we'll start with you, Nick. Uh, nice night tonight. Uh, you hit the ball well. Just yeah. about everyone you saw. Talk about the game and your excitement for this this night. Um, it was very fun to play with a lot of these guys. I mean, I know almost every guy on each team, so it's just fun to be out here. And uh, I got a couple early hits to fall, and then got a couple good pitches towards the end. And I, was able to do something with him. So nice way to end your time in a, in a Rosal uniform. Yeah. I, th I think you're five for five tonight, right? Yep. <laughs> well, congratulations, and yeah. uh, and let me see that trophy here. Let's take a look at these things. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Hey, yep. congratulations, way to go. Thank you. And uh, we'll talk to Austin Neal. Hi. Way to go. Yeah. Austin, come on in. You, of course, you're the uh, MVP for the South squad, the team that won tonight. And you yeah. guys got a. Uh, well, you pitched well. And uh, yeah, hit well, of course, and you've been yeah. doing that all year for Oak Ridge. And uh, talk about really the season for you overall. Uh, this season has just been really good. Uh, senior year, uh, we started off rough, uh, came back. Uh, we all came together as a team. It was a lot of fun. What was tonight like? Uh, get a chance to play with uh, some new teammates and, of course, some guys new on the other side as well. Yeah, I uh, knew most of the kids on both teams too. Uh, just a lot of fun coming together with all your friends, just playing a ball and just having fun. 
anything you want to get done in tonight's game, any particular player you want to play against, or anything you want to do in a game like this? Well, I mean, I got to play with J.D. Davis. He kind of got drafted, <laughs> so it was all right. I mean, that was kind of fun, but... And before I grabbed you and Nick, there's a little bit of trash talking going on. Was there actually any trash talking going on in the field? Good stuff, but there's a little bit going on in the field too. But it's just all fun because y'all know each other. Hey, well, congratulations on a great season. Of course, a great optimist. Thank you. Way to go.